Hi, son. What you got? I am here today to sell my electronic tin toy made by Lewis Mark Company. How'd you acquire this, son? I found it in the dumpster. Why can't I find stuff like this in the dumpster? I'm coming down the pawn shop to sell my electronic tin toy. The condition is great. It's from the 40s. I want to sell it today because it's hanging around in the garage. My wife is telling me to get things out. I would like 200. Minimum I'll take is probably $80. Basically, you plug it in. These cars go around the track, and they go in through the tunnel, and this is the toll, and they bounce around. This is the original box, but I tried to restore it. There's a copyright date of 1949. This was probably made up to the early 60s due to the fact it's when they made stuff back then. It wasn't a one-year process. They made them till they ran out of them. This thing was made by Marks. They were one of the biggest toy makers in America back in the day. I love old toys like this. They come from a time when kids played with something besides computers. Someone wants you to plug it in. Let's see if this thing works. See, there's already a traffic jam. It seems complete. So you kind of get the idea of what happens. So you just can move all around that. It's pretty neat. Turn it off, Tommy. I'm having fun. This toy is neat. I'd love to have it in the store, but I got to pay a price for it that I can make a profit on. So what are you trying to get out of it? 200. Ain't no way. 50, 75 dollar retail toy. I'd be a buyer in the neighborhood of 40 dollars. This is all almost mint condition. You tried to restore it, but the box is destroyed. Uh, how about 75? Now, $40 would be tops on something like this, son. How about $40 and $20 in store credit? We can do that. All right. Thank you. We settled on $40 with $20 store credit. I think it was worth a lot more than $50 or $75. I think it was worth about $150.